Welcome back, my Welty family. Once again, here, Rosendo Rodriguez, welding fly duck. Now, we're at South Coast Welding Academy, Houston, Texas. On today's video, we're going to simulate a structural weld up in height. We're not gonna be using a scaffold, but we are using an XC Welder Ready Genie. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by Genie Aerial Lift. All right, my Welty family. So for today's procedure, we're going to use 6010-18 on our root pads and 7018-18 on our cap. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. So we're gonna be going up there, do a root and a cap all the way around using this XC Genie. So let's see how it comes out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we already did our pre-operations inspection and function test. So make sure that you do that every single time you're going to use this XC Genie. Now, before anything, make sure that you're well trained and qualified before getting on this bad boy. Now this XC Genie, all right, it's welder ready. How cool is that? So check it out. So we're gonna be using this miller right here. That's a CST 282. So we got it strapped down and everything welder ready. Check this out. We got our leads in there, right? We got our stinger, we got our ground right down here. Everything is wrapped up ready to roll, ready to weld. So pretty cool. Now this welding machine right here, we're gonna run it using a generator that's in the back. We can go back there real quick and I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right, so come check this out with me. So quick thing, all right, cool features about this XC Genie. So it's welder ready. You got your plugs over here, electrical plugs, ready to roll. You can plug anything you want. Here's your panel. You can start your genie from here. You got some joysticks in here. A uh, quick little trick I like to use whenever I'm driving a genie. So I place my, my wrist on the panel and I carefully grab my, my joysticks and I move them like this, very softly. All right, you don't want sudden movements, okay? You're gonna shake your basket too much. So let's go ahead and look at this panel. It's very self-explanatory. You have a couple switches and a couple joysticks. This joystick right here, all right, moves your basket up and down, all right? So you can boom in and out right here on the top. So up and down for this one right here. This switch right here is to turn on your genie on and off. Very simple. Over here, this far, uh, this joystick right here on the, on the, on the end moves your genie forward and back. All right, so simple. This button right here is an emergency button. All right, turn it off and on. I'm sorry, just off button right here. So check this out, a couple switches up here. All right, this is for your basket. You can move them sideways. All right, up and down also. Now, a very important switch, which will be this one right here. This is what's gonna allow uh, for you to use your welding machine. So, very simple, you turn it on. And it's gonna turn on your generator, gives the power to your welding machine, and you can start welding, simple as that. Whenever you don't wanna use it, turn it off. Also, make sure that your fire extinguisher down here is good to go, all right? So make sure you have one, safety first. Remember, it's very important. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're up in heights now. Uh, now, come check this uh, weld out. Pretty simple, we already have our coupons uh, clean and tag, ready to roll. We're gonna start welding in just a bit. Now remember, this is only a simulator, all right? So we're gonna weld these two coupons really quick. So a little close up right here, we have it tagged. We're just gonna go ahead and put a 6010 root pass right in the middle. So we have about a 332 gap in between I-beams. So we're gonna go uphill. Everything is gonna be uphill. All right, so always check with your, your uh, procedure with your coat. Make sure that you're doing it right. So we're gonna do everything uphill. 6 to 10 root pass, 70, 18 cap all the way around. So whenever we weld, we're gonna to try to do this in quarters, right? You don't wanna just weld all the way around and uh, you know, it, and uh, get this beam to warp on you, none of that. So we're gonna go ahead and do it in quarters and sections. Once we have a root pass and we can go to town, we'll go ahead and cap it all the way around. 
All right, so ladies and gentlemen, now we're starting at the top. So the method that I'm doing here with my 6010 1 8 I'm doing the stitch method. All I'm doing is just going back and forth, back and forth, try to keep it nice and steady. Always move away from your putter. Don't, don't try to slow down too much because you'll blow right through. All right, so all the way through. So remember, we're doing it in quarters. Now we're doing across from it, starting from bottom to top. Stitch method all the way through. Nothing to it. So just remember a quick thing. Every time you're uh, going around obstacles, always be aware of your surroundings. So be careful with the way you move your basket. Try not to jerk it too much. Look around, all right? It's very important that, that you're very careful. You don't want to cause an accident. All right, so be aware of your surroundings. We're starting on the other side. Again, we're still doing a root pass. Remember, I'm only going about 80 to 90 amps plus or minus up or down try not to go too hot watch your puddle build up if you see the, that you're starting to keyhole too much remember turn down your temperature clean it feather it and restart again simple as that all right ladies and gentlemen so we're still doing our route here you got to be careful because on this side of the i-beam i got a larger gap slightly larger gap so no worries, just watch your puddle build up. If you need to go colder, go colder. Also, as you're coming up to the top, a little trick of, of mine, I'm sure everyone uses it, but go ahead and bend your stick rod. Bend it the way you want it to flow. All right, dig in, watch your puddle build, and follow through. Another thing to remember, 100% tie down. All right, so you have your harness. Make sure that you're tied down at all times, no matter what you are doing. Make sure that you're tied down. Look for them hooks around your basket. All right, tie yourself down is very important. So we just finished our root pass all the way around. Now we're gonna cap it. We're gonna cap it with 7018 1 8. We're gonna range anywhere from 100 amps to 110. Try not to go too hot, okay? So we're gonna cap it all the way around. Now you can do it however you want. You don't have to do it in quarters no more. We have good reinforcement in our route. Go ahead and cap it. All right, so a little quick thing is that when we're capping it, we try to keep it nice and simple. All we gotta do is go weave across, or you can do circles, whichever one you like. Watch your puddle build up so you can cap it. Let's go ahead and do it all the way around. All right, so check this out. A great thing about the XE Genie, it has a 12 kilowatt system. Now, it does 100% duty cycle for TIG and stick welding and 55% duty cycle for flux core and arc welding at 280 amps and 360 amps. Now, really, you can't beat that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. All right, we just did some structural welding up in height using this bad boy right here, this Genie XC welder ready, all right? Really, really simple to use. If you wanna check it out, click on the link below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, all right? Don't miss out on the next video. All right, we'll see you next time, rock.